In this next video, we continue on talking about urban swales, except this time we're going to talk a little bit about how to build a spillway to manage overflow, catch basins, and there's a few more shots on the construction of urban swales as well. So some of you guys have taken my PDC, some haven't. Um, one of the big things that drives all of design is something that we call water access structures. So everything in this garden is basically designed around water access and structures comes last. Now no, normally what we do is we design this in present day society, we design structures first, then access comes in and then we deal with the repercussions of water afterwards. And so now we've got this garden space leveled so the water is going to uh, infiltrate, be passive all the way around this system. And we've got two water sources that we're trying to um, capture. One is the overflow from this top swale right here as it cascades over top of this uh, concrete ledge. So we're going to create a little catch basin in here with some landscape fabric, some of the rock and a weeping tile which is going to uh, convey the water all the way around the garden. So to build this catch basin we've compacted it because I don't want a lot of infiltration right around here so we've tamped it using one of these tampers right here just like that and then we're going to line this whole thing with landscape fabric okay so we're gonna line this and then um, Michelle can you grab the weeping tile Michelle just follow behind me there if you can yeah Okay, so we've got one other water source that, so we've got the water source that we're going to tie into right here. So we'll leave ourselves plenty of surplus pipe. We'll cut, cut this guy right here. So basically that's just going to sit on there like that. We're going to fasten it to the piece of wood right here with some all around after I dig it out a little bit more. And, uh, and then we're going to have that roof harvested. The other piece that we want to tie in is all the water coming from these two roofs back here. And so we've got a pipe that comes along underneath the step here. So I'm just going to cut this guy in right here. Yeah, I'm just going to stake this down so it's nice and um, to, close to the bottom. So I'm just going to seal the uh, end of this pipe here. A little bit of fabric. Okay, so that's good. Now the rock is going to come around here so any water that comes over is going to get filled quickly into this pipe. The other thing that's going on here is there's a ramp sitting over top of this and so we want to make sure that the ramp has a solid foundation to, uh, to sit on. Uh, this is going to tie into the overflow from the rain tank right there. So just to confirm, we'll grab that piece of pipe. So I might have to get a slightly longer piece of... I guess I can pull that over a bit. So that's pretty much ready. I might um, 
We'll put a bit more gravel in here just to, um, normally I wouldn't, but because we've got this ramp coming over here, I just want a bit of a foundation. So were there some more of those rocks? I'm just gonna put those in like that. If you found that video interesting, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out the Urban Swales video part one. You can also check out our website at vergepermaculture.ca and make sure you leave your questions and comments below.